What is up YouTube? In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can create a mute boom box on Roblox. So you can be using this. A lot of people have asked me to do this um, on how you can mute everybody in the game's boom box. I've said for a long time that I couldn't do it, but um, uh, that uh, I'm a lot better at scripting now. But um, I had to memorize. I I can't memorize the script because I literally just made it. Um, I actually just made it a few hours ago and I literally can memorize it so <coughs> I, I can try but I have the script down here just in case you can take that but it's not finished yet it's not that's not the finished script so um, we have our boom box you see right there it's just a classic boom box of that so how do you set this up well first of all you gotta check everything in here and you gotta go into the sound here and change the volume to 0 0.4. Next, go into the server, and you're gonna go all the way in here, and you see this one called sound.volume at line 30. You're gonna remove the sound.volume there because that will interrupt with our muting script. There we go. Now we can put this back in. I'm gonna create a screen GUI. And we're gonna rename this to mute boom box GUI. And then we're gonna create a text button. And we're gonna rename this text button. Mute. We're gonna rename that to mute boom box. Okay. Gonna in a conversion. There we go. All right. So now, uh, what we're gonna do? That what I just did doesn't matter. But um, when I did the GUI, you can style the GUI however you want. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start scripting. So I'm gonna add a local script, and we're gonna rename this to mute. Boom box GUI script. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do script dot parent dot mouse button one cl one click connect function. Before this, we're gonna do a local DB equals equals, uh, equals true, and there we go. All right, so we're gonna do if db equals equals true then and then we want to mute them so we're going to do local d is equal to game dot workspace colon get descendants and then we're going to do oops then we're going to do for actually let's drop a line here just so it looks better for i v in for i v in pass D do and then we're gonna do if v colon is a sound then and if it's a sound then we're gonna do check if the parent's name is boombox and then we're gonna if v dot parent dot parent dot name equals equals to boombox box then and there we go and then we're obviously going to mute it so then we're going to do v dot volume is equal to zero okay so that's all of this so we're going to do here now we're going to add an else here and i forgot to add a db equals false up here and here we're going to add a db equals true and then you're gonna copy all of this and just paste it down here and down here you're gonna set the volume to 0 0.4 so let's go ahead and check if it works as you can see there's music playing and there we go all right so there's uh, a glitch here. Obviously, here we 
Don't. This is not changing. And close your eyes. That's the error. So we need to fix that somehow. So, how are we gonna do that? Well, what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna change how we're gonna do script.parent.text is equal to, let's check what it says here, mute boom box. Oh, mute boom box on because now the muted boom boxes are on obviously so and then we're going to copy this and we're going to paste it over here we're going to test it out test it out again it's rain and taco so you can see now obviously it works tacos it works it actually works, alright, so, um, yeah. So, I actually did that. It's rain and tacos. From out of the sky. Tacos. No need to ask why. Just so now, there's one more error. What you can see here, if, let's say this one was on. So muted bo boom boxes are on, and it's still playing. So what can you do to do that? Well, we can add another loop here while true do, and we can add a wait here, and then we can do if db equals equals to true then. Uh, wait, if db equals to true, then false. Then we want, um, then we're gonna go copy this, and there we go. Right, so let's test that out. So now it checks, um, while that's, uh, false. So let's try that out now. It should work now. Um, there was a little glitch here, I forgot to think about that. So let's test it out. As you see now it's not starting. It's rain and taco from out of the sky. So let's test this out again. And it's working. It's working really good. So after so many months I finally decided to do it. I finally gathered up the coding skills to actually find out how to do that. And yeah. So that's pretty much how you do it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really appreciate I I really appreciate it. And make sure to turn on that uh, post notification bell thingy. Um, we're really close to 400 subscribers. So, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll make sure to leave everything in the description for you guys to take, including the boombox and the mute boombox button. So, see you guys in the next video.